Oh my god, it's so great to be back again! A Short Hike is an adorably fun adventure game full of witty dialogue and incredible music. This game first released in April of 2019, but just made its way onto the Switch in August of 2020. A Short Hike is all about Claire getting to Hawk Peak in order to make a very important phone call. Along the way, you'll encounter a slew of animal pals that are just downright adorable, and you'll have plenty of small tasks that force you to explore your heart out. A Short Hike is an indie game that from the first first few minutes grabbed my attention and hooked me until the very end. And after playing this game for the week, I have some things I want to say about it. I go by capture reviews, and these are my thoughts on a short hike. And to keep this game fresh for all of you indie game lovers, there will be little to no spoilers ahead. In a short hike, You'll be exploring all over a beautiful pixelated landscape as you attempt to reach Hawk Peak. You'll be running, swimming, flying, climbing, jumping, and swan diving your way all across this giant map. You can perform these athletic tasks and more by using Golden Feathers. Golden Feathers are this game's take on stamina and are very much required to complete this game. They're hidden throughout the island or available for purchase from the visitor center and some sketchy asshole who charges way too much for them. Are you gonna sell me drugs or Golden Feathers? Wait, are Golden Feathers code for drugs? Oh god. I love this concept of the Golden Feathers. It's a very simple yet unique way to make stamina fun, and not an annoyance, but rather an accomplishment. And, as you'll see later in the game, the feathers react to certain weather elements, which is the shit, In a good way. Do people say that? This game's enjoyment factor really comes from all of the little tasks you can do, and all of the people you meet along the way. Except this guy who won't give you a shovel. Fuck this guy. There are hidden treasure chests, seashells, treasure maps, garbage to clean up, and so many more things. A short hike can be just what the title says, or a wonderfully longer experience full of charm and USDA grade A pure f***ing cuteness. The map in this game is massive and can be explored in every little nook and cranny. You can jump off a mountain and glide your way over a vast ocean, or you can run around, go for a swim, and find some secrets because this game gives you total freedom and golly is that amazing. Did I just f***ing say golly? <laughs> you can sprint your way to the top, or you can take some time fishing and meeting some of your fellow animals that are all unique and hilarious to talk to. Speaking of which, one of the bigger highlights of this game is the oh-so-relatable dialogue and the cast of characters. Each character speaks with a modern dialect, so it's very relatable and really speaks to my soul. Like this dude who says he's dying of boredom. I feel you, bro. I feel you. And then you have encounters with characters like the fisherman, who, I mean... Just catch the fish already! The plethora of ums, okays, and occasional yelling about rock climbing was hilarious and brought these characters to life, and I don't think any of them said golly. I absolutely love the dialogue in this game. The dry, awkward humor brought me so much joy and genuinely made me laugh plenty of times. The humor kind of reminds me of Paper Mario, and that, of course, is a great thing. It really impressed me considering this is a cheaper indie game. I mean it when I say that I fell in love with this game from the minute I started playing it. It's incredibly adorable and contains plenty of charm, and would you just look at this? Tell me that isn't relaxing as f Without spoiling anything, I'll also just say that there are some real heartwarming moments in this game, especially at the end, but you yourself need to go experience that. Visually, a short hike is a beautifully made, pixelated piece of art. This game is so strange with its visuals. It's pixelated and undetailed, yet very intricate and full of emotion and beauty at the same time. Every character's facial expressions can be easily seen despite the blocky looks, and each little coin, seashell, and even pieces of trash glitter with a wonderful shine. With this, each climate type you encounter feels real, and the abundance of details like the wind blowing and the snow falling truly hammer home just how important the weather is in this game. One of the best features of the visuals in this game is the ability to choose just how blocky you want the game to look. I prefer the small smaller, smoother pixels, but you can go blockier if you like, and both styles look absolutely adorable and charming. The music in this game is on par with any Nintendo game, and that is saying something. For a game that's less than $10, I was blown away by this soundtrack. I mean, here, just take a listen and you'll understand. It reminds me of Animal Crossing a lot, and as we all know, 
That is an incredible thing. In summary, A Short Hike has some wonderfully cute visuals and a soundtrack that is the shit. I'm making it a thing if it's not a thing, we're saying that now. So, is A Short Hike worth buying? Without a doubt in my mind, yes, yes it is. A Short Hike is an adorably fun game full of charming, heartwarming moments that really hit home for me. It also comes with incredibly funny dialogue, relatable characters, and graphics that really emphasize this game's cuteness. There's plenty to do in this giant map, so A Short Hike will keep your eyes peeled to the screen at all times, looking for any secrets you can find. And I'm not kidding when I say this. A Short Hike has officially broken its way into my personal favorite top 10 games, and that means it's up there with Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, NCAA Football 14, and Animal Crossing. So it should come as no surprise that I give A Short Hike a perfect 10 out of 10. Go play this game if you haven't already, because it's well worth your money and well worth your time. You will not regret playing this perfectly made, wonderful indie game. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my thoughts on A Short Hike. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. LFG, we're back!